In this video, we'll be going over finding first and last position of element in sorted array. So given an array of integers, now I'm sorting in ascending order. Find the starting and ending positions of a given target value. If target is not found in the array, return negative one, negative one. Could you, find, could you write an algorithm with all of log n runtime complexity? So in our first example, we have five, seven, seven, eight, eight, ten, 10, and our target is eight. So our leftmost index, our first index is going to be at three, zero, one, two, three, our ending index for 8 is 4, so return 3 and 4. So let's go through the dot process. Let's first go over the brute force approach. The brute force approach will be to perform a single iteration through the input array to find the starting and ending indices. This approach will cause us all of n time complexity because we visit each element once. Now let's go over a more optimized approach, which is the log of n approach. Because we're finding elements inside a sorted array, that means we can use binary search. Since we are looking for elements inside a sorted array, we can use binary search. Well, but we are finding for the first and last index, this means we will need to use a modified binary search. So, we can break this question down into two parts. We'll, we'll first find the ending index, and then we'll find the starting index. Uh, the ending index, and then the starting index. Now, how can we find the end, uh, ending index first? So for each of the elements at, at, at index mid, for example, this is occurring our mid index in our binary search. If nums mid is equal to target, we will want, um, this may or may not the, um, be the rightmost target elements. This means we will need to continue our search to the right with mid inclusive. So for example, if we're currently at this element and this element is equal to eight, um, this may or may not be the rightmost element, so we want to continue our search from this location forward. Now, how can we find the end starting index? Now, how can we find the starting index? So, for each of the element at index mid, so let's break this down. This one is the end index. This one is going to be the same. So if nums min is equal to target, this may or may not be the leftmost element that's equal to target. So we want to continue our search to the left with mid inclusive. So if, for example, if we're currently at eight and that's a mid index, this may or may not be the rightmost index with the value of eight. So we need to continue our search leftward with this element inclusive. Let's go over a pseudocode. It'll be, uh, it'll be more clear. So let's first find the end index. So we're, we're going to create two variables to be our left and right boundaries. Our left boundary and right, our right boundary. So while left is less than right, then we're going to calculate the mid index. So mid is go to left plus right minus left divided by two. We, for this one, we're going to increment it by one. The, we, by incrementing by one, we pick the upper mid index. So for example, if we currently have two elements, eight and eight, and then, um, and then our target is going to eight, we are, we're going to pick the upper mid index. Instead of picking the originally, if we do not have the plus one, we're going to pick this element. But instead, we're going to pick the upper mid elements. This will allow us to stay to the rightmost side as much as possible. So if nums mid is equal to target, this may or may not be the rightmost element that's equal to target. So we're going to continue our search to the right side with mid inclusive. So set left to mid. Then we're going to, and else if nums mid is less than target, that means we need to continue our search to the right. So left to mid to mid plus one. Else, 
else numbs mid is greater than target, that means we need to search to the left. Then we're going to set right to mid minus one. Now, after 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 we process our loop, if left is out bound, that means if left is out bound, that means all of the elements inside the input array is less than target. All elements inside the input array is less than target. Then we can set um, n to negative one. Else, if if nums left is not equal to target, that means we have failed to find target inside input array. We also set num n to negative one. Everything else, uh, we would just set um, n to the elements, the rightmost index. So we're gonna set n to left, which is is gonna be a rightmost index. Now, if n is equal to negative one, that means we will not be able to find the starting index. So we're going to return negative one, negative one. That's our condition. Target is not found. Return negative one, negative one. Now we're going to find the starting index. Find the start index. It's going to be very similar too. So we're going to create two variables to be our left or right boundaries. Left. So in this, uh, the left boundary, the right, the right boundary. And while left is less than right, calculate the mid index. So mid is go to left plus right minus left divided by two. This time we do not increment by one because we want to stay on the as as much left as possible. So for example, if we're currently at eight and eight, we want to pick the lower lower index, so the lower mid value. Then we can say if nums mid is equal to target, we want to continue our search leftward with mid inclusive because the current index may or may not be the leftmost index. So we're going to set right to mid, continue our search leftward. And else, if nums mid is less than target, then we want to continue our search to the to the right side. So set left to mid plus one. Else we set, else we want to search um, leftward. So set right to mid minus one. Now we can set start the starting index to left, which is which is our leftmost um, index of our target value. Then we'll return start and end. Now let's go over to time and space complexity. Well, the time complexity is going to be. It's, go, it's, it's two binary searches, so we do two times log of n, so it's equal to log of n, where n is the length of the input rate. We can say two binary search, and then space complexity is equal to of one. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to first find our n index, so find n index of nums and target and then if n is equal to negative one that means we have failed to find the end index so we will not be able to find the starting index so we can return start n oh we can just return negative one negative one Oops. negative one negative one then we find starts let's find the start index nums target and then we can return new int with the start and the end now let's go over the code for finding the end index. Create our two variables to be our boundaries for our binary search. Then while left is less than right, calculate the upper mid index. Right minus left divided by two and then incremented by one. If nums mid is equal to target, this may or may not be the rightmost side. So we want to continue our search rightward with mid inclusive. 
Else if nums min is less than target, we want to search to the right side. The current element is too small, so the left is equal to mid plus one. Else the current element is greater than target, so we want to search to the left side. So right zone so mid minus one. Then return if if left it, if left is greater than nums down length, that means it's out of bound. If it's if it's out of bound, that means all of the elements in the input array is less than the target value. Or the current elements at left is not equal to target. That means we have failed to find the elements inside our input array. Then we return negative one, else we're gonna return the rightmost index of our target elements. Now we're gonna find the starting index. It's going to be very similar. So we're going to first create our variables to be our boundaries. Then while left is less than right, this time we'll pick the lower mid index. So if the current element is equal to target, this may or may not be the leftmost elements, so we need to continue our search leftward with mid inclusive. So right is equal to mid. Else if nums mid is less than target, that means we want to search rightward. Left is equal to mid plus one. Else we'll search leftward, right goes to mid minus one. Then we can return left, which would be the leftmost index of our target elements. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more videos that will help you pass a technical interview. I upload videos every day and if there are any topics you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below.